What does it mean to be lost? To be lost is to be unable to find one way or to not even know one's whereabouts. And I feel like the time period that we are living in, it is very easy to get caught slipping in this word of being lost. Shit, sometimes I feel lost on the day-to-day -day process, you know? And in this video, we're gonna be breaking down why I feel like we are living in the generation of the lost. Welcome to Todd's TED Talks, where I'm going to be giving my opinion on certain topics, and I'm going to be recording all this shit off my VHS camera because it looks fire. And if you mess with the perspective of a 22-year-old black dude from Louisiana, welcome. Let's dive right into this, man. My generation, Generation Z, if you ever see me look down, it's because I'm reading my notes off my phone. I'm keeping this thing as real as possible, bro. I'm not fun. But my generation, Generation Z, 1997 through 2010. That's what mainly I'm gonna be talking about. That's the people I'm trying to aim towards because I feel like that's the people that understand me the most because like we're all around the same age besides people from 2010. What the hell, babies? But I feel like my generation we have grown up in a very fast-paced world like i always bring up the example how like i basically saw the iphone like i remember being in like middle school having like an iphone 4 and what are we on right now the 15 iphone 15 titanium shit like we have seen the evolution of so many things through our lifetime and I'm just 22 years old bruh I know it feels like shit is just I don't know shit's just moving like at a accelerated rate than um the past generations and that's going into like the next thing I want to talk about we may be the generation of the loss but as I look back and I did my research on like past generation of my knowledge every generation had to go through something like there's never really been like a peaceful time in America or in the world even to say that the most is like we have always had chaotic events happening in our generation like I always bring up to people how when 9-11 happened I didn't even make one years old yet like we have lived through 9-11 a freaking the coronavirus which I'm gonna get through get to later in the video that shit was crazy uh all these crazy ass elections we've been going through I feel like we we've been through the most wildest political era of all time bruh uh for people that live in Louisiana we've been through hurricanes you know it's like so many chaotic events have happened in in like our generation like so many end of the world conspiracies everybody thought the world's gonna end in 2012 and shit like that it's just been chaotic event after chaotic event and I feel like we haven't had a chance to really like slow down and shit like I said like going back earlier I said we have been living a very fast-paced accelerated lifestyle and my time period and it's just been crazy bro it's like we have been living in a real history book like the shit that my generation has gone through people like kids are going to be learning about like in 2040 and shit like that and they gonna be like you live through that yes I freaking did, bruh. And on to the next topic about why I feel like we're in a generation of the loss. I feel like my generation just has a lack of purpose, like for real. It's like I feel like a lot of people don't really know who they are. It's like it's a real identity crisis going on, bruh. And I feel like 
with that lack of purpose, social media has played such a big part. You know, like we are like the true first generation to grow up in like the social media era. I can remember being a kid, not having a phone, still playing outside. But as you grew up, it's like we got more indoctrinated to like being a part of this internet wave and all of that. It's like we grew up head first in it. Like we we're like the first people to hop on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, all of that shit. So I feel like social media has is at the forefront of why people have a lack of purpose because they're on their phones all fucking day and they're not really trying to find out who they are to being distracted you know we live in a world where there's so many distractions going on that a lot of people really don't take accountability of their life you know they're just trying to like see what's the next wave see what's the next trend or follow the next trend or trying to get a buzz everybody trying to make it following this unrealistic thing of trying to become rich that only one percent even probably lower than that one percent people even really get bro and i feel like another reason why we have a lack of purpose is that it is damn near impossible to predict the future it's impossible to predict what tomorrow is going to be for us it's like going back to what i said previous we have lived through so many chaotic events that is damn near impossible to think what's going to happen next week so i feel like Everybody really just out here like just living and just doing whatever the fuck they want to do because I'm going to keep it G. I have the same mindset. Like I feel like the world is ending soon. So it's like why even care about the future when it's like anything could happen that could just like derail you. It's like you could be working towards something and that's what next thing you know it's like it didn't even matter like all that working you put in didn't even matter and I feel like that's why a lot of us in my generation have a lack of purpose because like you just never know what's fucking coming next bro and it's like all the distractions on top of that a lot of people we're stuck in a identity crisis man that's probably the biggest one identity crisis plus the um the COVID year and I just thought about this shit like a couple weeks ago. I felt like the COVID year, that lockdown year, really set everybody a year back. It's like, for me, I was just coming into adult life, COVID year. I was 19 years old that whole year. And I feel like that pushed everybody like a whole like year of their age back. Like people that was stuck. Let me rephrase this right. It's like. For me, being 19 years old stuck in a house, you don't really get no development, no life development. So I feel like I was still 19 years old going into 2021. It's like people are still stuck in like their age mindset. And I feel like that's one of the biggest um, things that COVID did, did to us. It's like it set everybody like a year back on their life path, bro. And lockdown changed a lot of lives. Like it, I feel like lockdown changed my life for the better. Cause like it made me tap in more. My I had to face myself face to face. You know, boring days. You know, I to, I went through a spiritual awakening during lockdown. But I feel like lockdown really changed a lot of people' perspectives on life, especially people that was still in like high school and shit and had to take like online classes. Jesus Christ, I know that shit sucked. But it was just like, you no, know, that was just like a big like event that happened that like really like changed the like course of like a lot of people's lives. Like a lot of people came out of lockdown a whole different person than who they was when they went into it for better or for worse. So, you know, I feel like and another thing I said, that was my first year of adult life. Like imagine you just graduated high school, you're ready to go tackle adult life and your first year lockdown happens your whole summer is taken away the whole world changes like no matter what you say the world before um covid happened 2019 compared to after even though we got like it's seeming pretty normal it's a whole different world it is not the same world that we lived in in 2019 bro everything is different it's like you can just feel it up in the air, like how much shit is changing. Maybe that's just a part of the world evolving. But I'm just saying COVID had like a big impact on like my whole generation. And it's going forever. You're going to, I feel like the 
true long-term effects of covid and that year hasn't even really settled in yet bro like we just seeing the freaking upcomings of it bro it's wild last topic about this video is inflation rising what the mm. we are living in the second great depression and we don't even want to call it that it's like people just going about their day we are truly living in the second great depression i've watched buku tiktok videos about like how if you compare the housing market pricing of our generation with the minimum wage or the pay like salary that we're getting compared to back in the day it, we are being totally messed over like housing causes so much money and we not even we're not even getting paid that type of money to even pay for the housing like that so it's causing people to be stressed out working 80 to 60 hours a week just trying to keep up with their bills it's like we're living in a era where everything is so expensive and we damn near still getting paid the same bullshit pay rate so it's like for young adults it's like that makes you lose fate up in society because it's like we not even getting paid what we supposed to be paying and y'all just constantly raising the price raising the price it is so much harder to make an honest living in my era than i think in any era bro it's like even if you want to put your bootstraps on and like grind it out it's like there's a reason why mental health is so high like nowadays because people are stressed out bro people are stressed the fuck out because they got to keep up with these damn bills they don't even have enough money to freaking live a life they, they want to live they didn't already sign these contracts they didn't already had these kids they got to keep up with all these bills and they don't have no choice but to do it they gotta grind i don't got no kids so i'm still out here fucking chilling and shit i make my money and do all that but still it's hard out here bro it is hard as fuck out here for all my people in this generation of the lost bro and that pretty much like concludes it bro i'm just in this bitch ranting at ranting at this point man but at the end of every video at the end of every time Taj TED Talks videos. I'm just calling it Taj Talks. I don't want to take the TED Talk shit. I want to drop what is my conclusion? What is my like solution to this whole thing? How do we fix the generation of the loss? And I would just tell people to really find out who they are. Like, take a moment. I said this shit on Instagram at the beginning of the year. 2023 is the year itself. Is the year that you're supposed to be like really like understanding who you are and stuff i believe if you live a life that you want to live and you understand like who you are and you don't care about like the social structures and like what the um the freaking what society what society accepts you need to stop giving a fuck about what society wants you to accept and just live a life that you want to live and that's one of the solutions how you get out of this lost state of mind i know it's so easy to become lost in this freaking crazy ass world that we live in and i really don't have a conclusion or a solution for like the to 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 totality of this shit bro because it's like man you know it's hard it's really hard to like find out who you are when you got so much stuff thrown at you i didn't go to college but for all my college students out there trying to find out who you are right at the same time trying to keep your certain type of friends trying to keep up with your bills trying to keep up with homework trying to get that degree after the degree trying to find a raw ass job and you in a fucking field where it's like everybody is competing and it's just like ugh ton of bruh moments it's a bruh moment fest i like to call it bruh it's what we living in <sighs> generation of the lost man hey if you feeling lost out here man just get on your grind bruh and say fuck it and live life that you want i'm thinking about moving to africa honestly peace